Hello, family and friends. Thank you for joining us today. We have a fun craft using empty Pirouette cookie cans. I used the cookies as a dessert garnishment for a wedding over a year ago, and now they have a purpose. Then we're gonna go on a little trip to our favorite florist, which is Country Florist in Paso Robles. And Kay is gonna make an arrangement for one of the cans so you can see what it would look like finished. I started by choosing four fall colors to paint the cans with, and I chose a Krylon Fusion in a glossy popsicle orange and matte wild honey. Next, I used Rust-Oleum in a camouflage green, and I could only find burgundy in fabric paint, so we'll see how that works out together. Okay, these are my supplies. I used the spray paint. They weren't all the same because I couldn't find them the same. And by coincidence, fortunately, good for me, the leaves were the same colors. I painted the cans. That was a thrill. And then I have my stencil printout, my black markers, my wax paper, my burlap ribbon, twine, my darning needle, and a threader, scissors, wire cutters, and my glue gun and glue sticks. And I'll show you the process now. I couldn't find a burgundy, and this is weird, but I didn't even know they had this. It's a fabric paint. And I wasn't sure how it was gonna work out, but it worked out just fine. So, you know, I don't, it didn't run, it wasn't globby. So I was pretty pleased with that. That was a unusual find. So this burlap ribbon is like five and a half inches. So that's, yeah, right there. That's five and a half inches, which you can't see. And what I'm gonna do is on my computer, I printed out the letters for fall in a font that would be big enough that I could use my marker and color it in since I can see through the burlap. And I'm going to use wax paper. I just use wax paper. And that way I don't distort the letters and I can see through the wax paper to be able to color it onto here. So I need to start by measuring and I'm going to use the seam on the back is where I'm going to glue this. So I want the ribbon to be long enough to go around once. I'm going to line up as straight as I can. Straighten up the line. So ultimately I'll hot glue this, bring it on around. hot glue the other one on top of it. So I want it to be pretty close. There's gonna have to be an overlap. Let's see, we'll cut it right about here. If I need to cut a little more off, I can do that. So this is my first one. <clears throat> Perfect. And now I want to find where the center is. So I fold it in half. And here's my center. And I want to kind of position that in the center of what the F would be using the top, the widest part. And I just eyeball it. 
here's the center of the burlap I measured. And I take a look to see if I've got even spacing top and bottom. Again, I just eyeball it. And now, with the uh, wax paper underneath, I'm going to take my felt marker and I'm going to just go through and you have to do it in kind of a dabbing motion because of the texture of the burlap. Um, it's not like drawing on paper. You need to get the little fibers. <laughs> so I'm just kind of dabbing along. And I chose um, felt marker over paint because I kind of felt like I'd have more control. enough ginger all right let's see how this looks and again And that's what it'll look like. Not too bad. So let me do the other ones. Well, I think that's kind of cool. And this dries on the wax paper so it doesn't smear so that worked out really good but the lettering is uh, like three and a quarter three and a quarter in height you could see how it gets a curve but I try not to cut along the curve. I try to follow the straight line because um, it it comes back to being square. But if I were to follow it when it got all distorted, then my roll would end up being distorted as I went along. It just make it more difficult. I hope that makes sense. And there's the L. All right, now for the next step.
that just holds and prevents it from sagging. Okay, so I wrapped my twine. Now let's see if I can get this threaded through easy enough. Threaded it, used my needle to thread it on, and now I'm just going to tie it off. might do a little dab of hot glue that'll hold it in place. I think that's going to look really pretty once you add the florals. Anyway, that's one. And I chose to do the green leaf with the burgundy. And I'm going to cut off the wire. I want to leave it on the back though. I think it gives it a little stability. As I was looking at it, they just seemed like it needed something more. So I got these at the dollar store. So I'm going to cut them off so they're flat on the back and then just glue that on and it just gives it that finished look. Better, huh? Much better. I think they're adorable. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. Now we're going to take a trip to the country florist and have Kay make a floral arrangement in one of the cans so you can see what it looks like. For those of you that are not familiar with the area, we thought you might enjoy seeing a few pictures. We have a beautiful gazebo in our downtown park where we have live music during the summer and a big pioneer event in October. We are fortunate to have one of the few Carnegie buildings built in 1907 that was used as a library until the San Simeon earthquake. And this next photo is called the Acorn Building because of the clock tower that's shaped like an acorn. 
This building was also damaged during the earthquake, but to the credit of the owners, they restored it, keeping its historical image. And we have a variety of award-winning vineyards in the area. Okay, I'm out front here of Country Flores, and Kay, the owner, is gonna do an arrangement for us. So, I'm just gonna walk through right now, and we'll go meet Kay, and she'll share with you what she is doing. And then we'll come back through the store, and you'll be able to see all the adorable things. It's a uh, very novelty, uh, fun stuff. Anyhow, we'll show you that shortly. So here is her workshop, and she is busy with weddings all the time, and she has given up this time to do this for us. So you can see the fall cans that were created, and she is doing an arrangement in them. Now, Kay, do you ship worldwide? Yes. So if you are interested in anything, she ships worldwide. So what do they call that? Teleflora. Teleflora. <laughs> Toby's trying to arrange it so that you can actually see the words, how it say fall. Yeah, the orange. <laughs> the one with the orange flower needs to be turned. There we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> It says fa oh. <laughs> <laughs> There. Fa oh, yeah. Anyhow. Can you read it? You can. Okay. This one? Yeah. Okay. So they're real, it's a real simple craft. I tell you more about it um, in the video on actually putting the craft together. But now we get to witness Kay's magic in putting together a beautiful arrangement. Something real simple, something real fall. This is gonna go on a mantle. And she makes it look so easy. That's a gift. <clears throat> that truly is a gift. So, while she's finishing the arrangements, I'm going to walk through the store with Toby and Wendy, and we're going to show you some of the fun things that she has to offer. Wow. Okay. Okay, Kay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. This is cool. This baby stuff. Oh my gosh. <sighs> now look at that pacifier. Oh my goodness, how adorable is that? Okay, I haven't had to shop for baby stuff for a very long time, so who knew? And the girls are laughing at me. Okay, come this way with tons of cards, great cards, all along here. Okay, amazing cards. So, and these are things that you're not gonna find everywhere. These are really unique. So if you want something that's going to stand out, you really need to come to Kay's. Country florist. Country florist. Oh, look at these cute socks. No, the socks are awesome, but the towels are the best. Yes. Okay. Coming around. So there's Toby. So these are the best flower sack towels ever. This says, the good news is I can still touch my toes. The bad news is it's with my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Eat, it fills out the wrinkles. <laughs> it's good. I am one cocktail away from, well, another cocktail. <laughs> so she's got those flower sack towels and these ones are fun. Bitch, please, I ride a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, we're all crazy, it's not a competition. So she's got wonderful things soaps, um, jewelries. Oh, purses. I like the one. Good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know they're always there. Oh. oh, but this one's good. A friend is someone who listens to your bullshit. Tell you it's bullshit and listens some more. <laughs> That's <laughs> really good. Go. <laughs> Cute. 
few purses, bags. Yeah. Wind chimes. Okay, that's cute. All kinds of cute stuff. Oh, look, look at, at that. This. Yeah, I just caught that in the camera. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. I might be purchasing a few things myself. She's got the most beautiful, novelty, unique items. Look at these. Here's her willow collection. And it is, looks really complete. So it like covers, you get a longer. Because period. then you go over to okay. this side. And look at all these willows. Well, it's flat, but you actually put it, it's got a little base, and so it actually stands up. How interesting, like a tile. Mm -hmm. mm. So it's flat like a tile, but it stands up like this. Huh, and I'll be darned. Huh? Yeah, and you can write on it. You can. You can paint it. Oh no, it's hand painted. Excuse me, hand it didn't read. Oh, sorry, I don't have my glasses on. I saw a person right. <laughs> hand painted, drip resistant, smokeless, mm. self extinguishing. Oh, and it has a steel base. Yeah. How pretty is that? Again, unique. Talk about unique. Wow. Soaps, lotions, sprays. These are socks. But look how warm they look. And they have the little rubbery bottoms. But oh my gosh, during the winter, those would be fabulous. And coming around here, this is Crabtree and Evelyn. And these are fun food things. Again, you can put together a really nice basket. Okay, I do have a Vera Bradley bag that I love. Use it all the time. String dolls. Okay, how clever is that? How cute. <laughs> Look at all the different ones. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, a meal without wine is called breakfast. <laughs> That's cute. Scarves. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Okay. Oh my goodness. Take a look. It's actually a scarf and a hot pad and a towel. Okay, I love this. Let me steady myself. A kitchen boa. A stylish reinvention of the classic tea towel worn around the neck. A towel is always close at hand. I'm sorry, my gimbal isn't working. So I'm having to, now there's a novelty item right there. Look at it, they're cool. Floral, the plaid with the paw print, adorable. Be the best person your dog thinks you are. <laughs> the best wines are the ones we drink with friends. How fun is that? That's true. Okay, now I don't know if you can see this, but this is, paper art. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. Get it? Gorgeous. Look at this one. And they're dimensional. Oh, okay. I don't know who does this paper art, but wow. Let me see. Look at the roses. The bike. Now, where can you find things like this? Is that not beautiful? Look at the dimension. Wow. Okay, that's cool. 
<laughs> wow. Mm. These are cards you keep forever. Look at the unicorn. Mm. Oh, I'm back to where I was. And these are more garden or whole garden ideas. Bird houses. Little fountains. Fairy lights. Plants. Oh, and a hummingbird ring, so you can put food. Now, all right, I need to do that for Wendy. She has hundreds of hummingbirds, and I would love to have them come and land on my hand and feed them. So that is something I am gonna get for her stocking stuffer. Don't tell her. All right, that's a tour of the store. Let's go see. I'm gonna turn this off so I don't make you dizzy as I walk through the store. Oh, <laughs> I just, my, just caught these. Look at these. They're bird houses. How cute is that? Anyhow, we'll go back and see how she's doing. And I'll come back. Thank you, Kay. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. It was fun. It was fun to go through your shop. I saw a lot of things I am definitely coming back for. We hope you enjoyed this adventure with us and a different type of craft video. We are always looking to be challenged and grow. And doing this different video, we learned that there's still so much to learn. We look forward to spending time with you again soon. So make it a gorgeous day every day. Bye.